My great partner for years um, do the first remark and we're going to take questions and answers. Okay, we'd like to bring our brother Frederick uh, Kearney to talk about his project before we close out. Welcome. Good evening. It's a tr tremendous joy to be here tonight and uh, I'm excited. I always like to get relaxed because I'm tense right now. So I'm going to give you a test. Oh, look at the brother's eye. <laughs> what is the universal language? Music. Universal language. Love. He said the first answer and it was right. Let's follow it. The universal language is music. When I arrived in Ghana uh, some 14 years ago, uh, I was coming as a Baptist pastor missionary. And as I arrived on the continent, I, I uh, was going to the funeral of a grandmother. And when I, when we, as we went to uh, the grave site, uh, there were instrumentalists who were playing instruments that were uh, just making a two-valve trumpet play. Uh, and it was fascinating to me that, that with a dysfunctional instrument, they were still able to produce music. One of the desires that I had uh, coming to Ghana was to establish uh, an orchestra. Uh, and in coming to Ghana, I, I brought about 40 instruments with me. Amongst those was uh, violins. And there was a young child that we were teaching to play the violin, and she dropped the violin. And it was, it was the most, for me, the most frustrating experience to have to, I had just probably three months before that uh, paid over two or $3,000 to buy each of my children a violin. And the, the, the child had no sense of, of you know, this is a, a very expensive instrument. And, and I, I, didn't, I didn't know how to fix it, so that made it even worse. And so I began a quest uh, to find musical instrument repairers that would come to Ghana and give that skill set to our group. And in my, in my quest, I was able to meet a gentleman in, in Colorado. Uh, I had a, an instrument that I needed fixed, and uh, I had basically called all over the world, and there was no one who was willing to take my instrument on to, for repair. And this gentleman owned a school that taught instrument repair. And he said, I'll take your instrument, and I'll repair it for you free if you let me have it for two years. And so I said, sounds like a deal to me. Uh, and I said to him, I said, you sound like my kind of people. Would you come to Ghana, July 25th, and teach nine of our children musical instrument repair? He said, did you say children? I said, yes, children. He says, I don't teach children. What? But he said he would come. And sure enough, on July 25th, he arrived in Ghana six years ago and taught nine of our young people musical instrument repair. And it was at that point that I realized that this was a skill set that is not available in Ghana. I've been here in Ghana for the last 12 years, and I've traveled throughout Ghana. And there are many, many, many instruments that are laid aside, no longer being used because there's no one to fix them. The end result of establishing an orchestra was skilled musicians. Presently, six years later after starting the orchestra, we have young people who are being sought out by Ghana Symphony Orchestra. As a result of the musical instrument repair shop that we needed for our orchestra, we now are able to service instruments for the police, for the symphony orchestra, for many of the professional musicians 
in Ghana because we have a repair shop for our church orchestra. I have a dream. I wrote that dream out six years ago. And I believe by divine providence, I'm now standing before the individuals or the people who may be able to help me make that dream a reality. I would like to establish an institute for musical instrument repair. I've had the privilege over the last six years to invite piano repairers to come and to teach our young people piano restoration. There are young men and young women in our, in our orchestra, in our church, who have come from abject, abject poverty, but now they have a monthly income of 2,000 Ghana CDs because they know how to repair musical instruments. They've repaired uh, any instrument that you would name. That would be, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, that's not electronic. Uh, and so I believe what I've seen by, by trial and error, or what I've experienced, uh, I would like to see it taken to a larger scale. And there's, there's many things that we need. Uh, and I, I confess to you tonight, I'm an ignorant and unlearned man. There's many things I don't know. But I definitely know that what I've embarked upon has worked. It has given young people uh, a skill, uh, a skill set that has made it possible for them to become uh, financially stable and and, and giving them the gift of music that they would be able uh, to become musicians that maybe one day some of them will stand on an international platform and uh, produce music that we would appreciate. I can't do all of that. I haven't done all of that by myself. Uh, I thank the Lord for my wife, Antoinette, who is also, uh, she's a Ghanaian, Ghana born, and so uh, Ghana gave me a great gift, amen. And uh, so I thank the Lord for my wife. Uh, she also has uh, uh, an adventure that uh, has been very useful. She is the, she's established a literacy program uh, called Tele-Leap, and we would like to have the LEAP program all over Ghana and all over West Africa. And what the, the way that program is financed is through Missions Bagels. She has taught a number of our women how to make bagels, and we'd like to see that move to another level. And the only way that it can happen is someone has to be the wind beneath our wings. And there are many things that we need. And I would love to have the opportunity to, to uh, speak with you further and just discuss. Uh, I, I have uh, a 22 page proposal that's six years old. I wrote it six years ago when we uh, had the opportunity to Take, have the training in musical instrument repair, and a lot of the things that I said in that proposal, uh, they're, they're, they're proven and tested now. And I stand here with great joy knowing that what I desire, uh, someone to partner with me to make a great uh, success definitely has the potential to be that. Thank you very much for your time. Great, great uh, project. Really great project. Okay, we're about to close this session.